Hello people, in this video let us look at this um, biochemistry salt question papers book by Singhi Yatiraj. This is just a book with answers to all the questions of different question, um, what am I trying to say? Exams, university exam papers are solved. So you can see here all the question papers like at least here so you can say this 2015 question paper, they have solved it. They are writing the answers. So you will know how answer format should be. This is more like a black and white book, guys. Just like your answer paper in your uh, exam. So this will give you an idea. Question answer approach to studying. However, this book is just a companion. Remember, don't substitute your textbook. Okay. Also, they are giving... Chapter wise page reference. This is very useful. Now, let us say your teacher says that uh, for uh, the exam, come upcoming exam, you have uh, carbohydrates and then you have uh, lipids and then you have proteins. Okay, so what will you do? You don't know what important questions are there under these topics. So, you will come to this book and see that in the previous exams, what they have asked under proteins, they have mainly asked this one twice. Look at this. So they have asked this. What is this? Describe the decarboxylation reactions of amino acids with four examples. Give its significance. This question is important. Why? It has been asked two times. So you're getting the whole point. Like look at this one. In a revised scheme, it's asked only once. However, other schemes, it was asked a lot. Okay. What are the essential amino acids? You should know this. So you're getting an idea, right? So every chapter, what are the questions that have come so far in university exams? So this will give you the questions, important questions. So you can focus on these things when you're reading that chapter. And also the answers are there to these questions. He's also giving you the answers. Now, how will you know which, what is the answer to this question, which has been asked multiple times? Page number 45, if you go, you will get the answer to this question. Basal metabolic rate. Let's look at this. So here we are in page number 45, basal metabolic rate, amount of energy produced by a person at complete physical and mental rest. Oh, so basal, basal is at the bottom. So at rest, whatever you are, uh, produ energy produced by a person. It's very interesting. It's not the energy you're consuming at rest. It is the energy that you produce at rest. Wow. It is a minimum energy required to maintain life or sustain vital functions. So how will you? Measure it by the heat produced, etc, etc, right? And then the calories, that's what they are saying. Guys, focus, then which factors affect the BMR, right? So thyroid, thyroid. so if um, uh, you have hyperthyroidism, BMR will be more, right? So the question and answer. So this is all is expected out of you, this much for basal met metabolic rate. What is it? How do you express it? How do you measure it? What are the normal values of BMR and what are the factors affecting BMR? What is the importance of BMR? Same thing here and there they will repeat under different headings. That's how you have to also pass, isn't it? So always um, better to make bullet points, headings. You should know um, what the different headings should be and what and all you should write under them in general. And drawing flow chart in biochemistry is very important, isn't it? So they have given flowcharts here, but somehow I feel these flowcharts you should take from standard textbooks because this book can have a lot of mistakes. Okay. It's just give, give this book gives you an idea. Okay. In that ball. Okay, guys. So what was I telling you? So this is no substitute to your textbook, isn't it? Just a black and white book to tell you the important questions and how to answer them mostly people use it as a shortcut to passing that's all for now guys in this video you have looked at this book biochemistry solved question papers by singhi yathiraj bye bye